it's funny that the the motto of the city is the city that works because I just like have not seen that. Thousands of Portland residents will soon see a big increase on their water and sewer bills. A K2 investigation found these people could pay hundreds more every year. This is tied to how the city charges for stormwater management. Thousands of people likely got a letter in the mail. It alerts them to a 30% increase in their stormwater costs starting July 1st. Behind the melody of a light breeze, if you could speak to someone at the city, what, what would you say to them? Probably drop dead. What is there to say? Dorothy Davidson is red hot. It's ridiculous. Dorothy got this letter in the mail saying her stormwater services would go up roughly $67 per quarter or $268 a year starting July 1st. It's obscene. It's not just her neighbor. I was appalled and shocked after neighbor it's like can you give us a break after neighbor 30.5 percent um that's insane got the same letter there are people who have lived here 20 30 40 years they're on a fixed income and suddenly to be told you've got to cough up an extra hundred dollars every quarter and that's huge and i worry about them k2 investigates is on your side digging into the increase we found it's tied to a recent rate study on stormwater charges. The city says it used to charge every single family homeowner the same rate. The new system charges people based on the developed area of the property. Things like roof space, driveways, sidewalks and patios are part of the billable area. City leaders say that makes it more equitable for everyone. Single family residential properties are then broken into small, standard and large categories based on the size of that billable area. All four of these people are in the large category. And I'm trying to figure out how it is I landed in the large category when the living area of my house is 1,200 square feet on the first floor. A city spokesperson says roughly 23% of single family properties are in the small category. The city says those people will see a slight decrease in their stormwater bills. Those bills will stay flat for about 60% of single family customers in the standard category. The rest, roughly 25,000 customers, will see a 30% increase. I'd pay them twice, I'd pay them 100% more. If they can prove a drop of my patio water is going into the city sewer system. The biggest rub for these homeowners is the perceived lack of notice. The city confirms this June 25th letter was the first direct outreach to customers. Changes went into effect six days later. This item passes and let's move on and call the next item. Council approved them in December. A city spokesperson says the letter needed to wait on the final rate ordinance council passed in March. Environmental services also needed to train staff, finalize the rules and take public comment. The spokesperson says sending the letter earlier may have caused confusion since prior bills would not show the changes. Or at the very least, can you break down where this is going and like transparently tell people where this money is going to? Because right now it just seems like there's this huge slush fund with the city where like all of this money goes in there and nobody sees results. Results people in East Portland say they desperately need. The city says these homeowners have a couple options here. First, they can apply for a discount up to 35% if they manage stormwater on their property. Second, there's a process to contest the billable area on your property. Those details are on K2.com. You can also call customer service, the city says, to speak with a city employee. Do you have a story for us? Email us at K2Investigates at K2.com. You can also leave a voicemail at 503-231-4205.